so that's what we're gonna do. So we have our guy here, he's prime black, just a very thorough coat of black. And uh, we have the backpack left out, so that this will allow us to play with it a little bit just to speed things up. So that's really a, a good idea if you want to do this quick uh, scheme. So the black is very thorough. Uh, if, if your primer is a little bit lighter than mine, just make sure that you go over over it with like a, a just a solid black base because we want to use that color, right? That's why I like Army Painter for this because they're uh, the paint and the primer, they kind of match so they have the same finish. That's perfect. So we're going to start with the airbrush and let's start with the backpack to get this kind of out of the way first. So we're going to just like use the fact that it's unglued here to speed it up and we're just going to paint it silver. Lots of time with Black Templar, I'm going to say it. There's just like the, the little uh, little bubbles here that are painted uh, in silver, but I, I like to have the whole thing silver and that because that really breaks down the back of the model to have like one big like silvery chunk. So we're just going to give it like a coat of gun metal first and we can leave some of the black showing through that's fine so we got this and this is perfectly fine I'm, I'm happy with this you know we get like a little bit of the little bit it almost looks like fully black but if we turn it much more silver so, uh, so this is one of the kind of little compromises that we have to make uh, with the speed paint thing we don't have to but we'll, we'll choose to make this just because then then it you know, it's a small difference that not a lot of people will, like, care, you know, like, oh, the backpack is not, like, fully black. Uh, but it does speed things up, like, if you do, like, 50 models in one, uh, if you do, you know, like, it's a big, it's a big, large infantry army. So if you get to speed that step up, like, real fast to do all the backpacks at once, uh, you get, you save, like, a lot of time. So we're just going to put this aside for now. We don't need this. And then we'll focus on the black armor here. So we've done a bunch of black models on the stream before. So now we can focus on the, the main guy. So we've done a lot of black armor before. This one, what we're gonna use is Dark Reaper. Uh, this will give it like a little bit of blue in there. So that's really interesting. And if this is too blue for your taste, you can just come back and just give it like a, give it a, a shade of black. You know, like if you feel like you're a little bit too heavy handed with it it happens this is this is perfectly fine right so we got like a good good black and you know still still mostly black and then the shoulder plate we don't really care at this point because you are going to repaint them and before we put the airbrush away we're just going to do a uh, celestial gray on the shoulder plates here and you're going to see why in a second because we're going to cheat again so this is like very light gray on black so don't expect to get like a one coat uh like one and done it's very open you know we'll get, we'll get two coats and it will be perfect and this is another one of those things where if you work on like if you work with like 50 models in one sitting uh, then you save a lot of time because you don't have to wait for this to be dry where right now we're just gonna have to and you know like it, it ain't that bad but just like if we can avoid it you know why would we want to spend some of our time watching paint dry and if we don't have to you know We'll just give one one coat here on one of the one of the knees here. Like this is this is fully optional. Again, if if you're going really for a quick job, you don't you know don't don't bother with this. Like so. So now we'll give, we'll give it that second coat here. I think uh, I think we're we're uh, should be good to go. Just to get it opaque. Like if if we focus on it. Like you can still see all the, whereas this side here much much cleaner despite the, the little mistakes. But that's okay. The trim we're gonna fix after. And now the reason that we didn't clean our airbrush is that we're gonna go in with this color and we can cheat the the shoulder. Now this guy here, this 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 dude is like a bush fit. So we don't have the luxury of of gluing the the shoulder pads separately. But if we did, then that's probably what we would want to do. So now we're gonna be very careful. And what we want to do is just like spray are white just to highlight the shoulder plates real quick so we have to be careful if you have a smaller airbrush use that one like if you have a fancy sotar or something otherwise you just have to be careful so now we have like a little little highlight and then here we can see we got carried away so we're going to fix this but that's okay because in the grand scheme of things we're so we're going to clean our airbrush right now so now what we're going to do is so we're going to touch up the so now just using blacks, we're just going to touch up uh, here the, uh, you know, the arm that we oversprayed a little bit. A 
This side looks like really good though, like almost no overspray. So now what we can do is we're gonna re-highlight uh, with Dark Reaper and that, that way and now now this would be a good time if you want to do like a bunch of like uh, edge highlights this this here again our goal here is kind of more to go in a speed painted route so we can kind of forgo that but the cool thing about this is we can kind of finish our guy in a speed painted manner and then once we'd have like a full army then we'd come back and then we can do like all kinds of crazy it doesn't need to be like instant we don't need to do every single like step now we can just focus on getting our army fully painted and then once everything is like fully painted, even if it's not like our desired like final standard, uh, then at the very end, then we come back. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do the, the Black Templar little icon. The fastest way is probably decals. Decals are really fast, but you know, or even actually no, the fastest would be to use uh, 3D printed ones. The Black Templar symbol is kind of pretty easy to do. So we'll start with this side here. Okay, so first you want to uh, you want to draw, uh, let's do the other side because of the, so you want to draw a small plus sign. Okay, so that is step one. Step two here is uh, we're gonna add a little V at the end of every single one of those, like. Doesn't need to be perfect at that point, but still. So we have a little, little V. And now what we wanna do is we take the edge of every V and bring it towards the center of our. And so we have like a little, little Templar cross here. Now, obviously, you can take more time than I just did. I want, just wanted to show you guys in like, I don't know, 30 seconds or something, how to do it. Uh, we can do the same thing on the other side, just did. To... Oop. So that, uh, that both sides here took like a minute or something total. You know, it's, it's really fast, but you can take, you know, all the extra time that you want. So we can finish our, our little highlighting. And then we can add this as well to the top here, to the top plate. So I'm kind of happy with this because we get just, just a little highlight. Well, we don't need like a lot. We just need to have like a little little difference between the, the shadow. Again, you can use like anything. I just want like some sort of like squad marking. We'll do all of the metallic parts in silver right now. So we'll do the full, the full gun. Okay, we don't care. And then we could have done this uh, earlier. Uh, we could also do them in silver. We'll just add some gold, just, just to get a little, a little bit of variation. But having some gold on some models helps you with the characters, because the characters, then, then you get to stand them out, or the veteran guys with Elbrek and the other dude. So really don't want it too much of it, right? So let's try to minimize all the details, even in the backpack. Like if there's not like something really uh, specific, uh, we're not even gonna dignify this. We'll do a purity seal. Usually I don't like to take a lot of time on purity seal, but because a lot of the Black Templar models have like robes and stuff, uh, now we can take a, a extra time because we would want to paint the, all the seal the exact same way that we'd paint the So I like Steel Legion here. Uh, and then our Steel Legion, we're just going to highlight with, with Skeleton Bone, right? Skeleton Bone is like perfect for this. And now you could add white, you can you can leave it like that. We're gonna choose to leave it like that again because this set of colors and a wash would be perfect for speed painting. Uh, and then the red is kind of the same idea because a lot of Black Templar have like red highlights or like red cloaks and whatnot. So the red on the seal, we can do, you know, as little or as uh, like so. And then we'll also do the eyes at this step like this. And then we'll highlight this with Evil Sun Scarlet, which is a really nice highlight color for this. And the eyes, little, you know, little, uh, it's like a dot. And then we can use our white, uh, especially for the eyes, just to give it like a little, little white dot here in the back. You could do this with yellow, you could do this with orange. Well, white is kind of classic. So, you know, we're trying to speed paint, but still getting like that, that good lens look. Like that's pretty easy, right? And next, we're just gonna lock everything in, and we do that with shading. So we're gonna need uh, all three of our like little uh, fun little trio. So a Seraphim, a Groxer shade, and Null Oil. Kind of to each their own. Now at this this stage here, now's a good time to glue this guy back on. So that's what we're gonna do right about now, because it will be much easier. So let's start with uh, well, let's start with black. I guess it makes uh, makes as much sense as any. So the black shading. So for the black, basically what we want to do is uh, we want to highlight everything that's silver with the black. 
and now's as good a time if you went like super like heavy with your with your airbrushing earlier with like the highlights and stuff uh now's a good time to just like have uh you, you could do like one thin coat on top of your armor here you could do like a kind of heavy coat as well lots there's lots of plays here and with something that's pretty good so i don't i don't mind uh, i don't mind the way it looks now as well uh, and then you can do the pouches if you like i think they're good enough like this and obviously the backpack also is gonna change drastically once we had this uh... and next the brown and the brown is really only for the gold parts uh, we're not really not a lot of brown to do here so we'll just like so and then lastly we want to take sepia and with the sepia we'll do our entire purity seal and the reason we do that with sepia is because we want these colors to stay vibrant because we want these to match other black templar pieces that we would have in our army so the cloaks on our army we wouldn't want them to turn like super brown and the red we don't want to turn like super super mate we, we want to have it like a little bit shiny so this is perfect the eyes were not really touching and now all that we're missing really is a base for our, our little guy um, and what we'll use is this one for now. We just have like this one city fight here that's just lying around. Something like this. So there you have it. This is our uh, completed Black Templar model. This took a little bit over 30 minutes, but not a lot. And you can have like an army in full swing here, especially if you take another extra shortcuts, like having detailed plates and doing like a bunch, a bunch in a row. But overall, this is a very quick gaming piece that anybody would be proud to play with. And on the base, we could do a whole lot of things like use the one for Necrons and whatnot. But overall, I think this is a great gaming piece.